All right, you guys are gonna be cooking with the chef today. We're gonna to be making some pretty uh, spicy foods because there is a lot of different ingredients to work with in Hyrule, uh, which means that there's a lot of different just recipes we can make, ranging from our cakes to our curries, our pies, their fries, risottos, uh, bread, uh, just a lot of different things. Uh, between this and everything, there is 117 different foods we can make in uh, Breath of the Wild, which is pretty crazy, and it'll be fun to uh, cook them all up and see them all spread out. So. Doing this is going to cost a lot of materials, though, but luckily a good chef knows where to source all of his best ingredients from, whether that be just roaming the best natural hotspots for them, checking out our local markets for the best spices and seasonings, or, you know, even just doing the dirty work, uh, going on the hunts, and just making some nice clean dishes out of that, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I feel pretty confident in our chef skills that we can do this all in a timely manner before even the first blood moon. I'm really excited, but let's not kill any more time and uh, let's just chop to it. I really like the food in this game, and uh, I got my special hat ready for this. Got those chef skills here, so. It's the world of Hyrule, a lot of cooking possibilities here. And even right off the bat, uh, look at these. Some nice ripe mushrooms. It's growing on some rock, yeah. And <laughs> mushrooms on a stick, anyone? Sweet apples. Hyrule herb. Give me some of that big mouth bass. There we go, got it. I don't care if we drown, it was worth it for cuisine. These are all the base foods, but uh, there's a lot of stuff we can cook with the base. Grab some of these uh, arrows for hunting. They're doing hunting of their own. Oh, yeah, not roasted stuff, uh, not potions. Just simply fine cuisine. <laughs> See the campfire in the forest? That's what we need to be. <gasps> Pigeon! Ah, oh, no. <laughs> if only we had a bow for that. Which shouldn't be a problem, because uh, look at that. Arrows and traveler's bow. Bird. Goodbye, bird. <laughs> Our first piece of uh, poultry. There we go. Oh, he has, he has my weapon, too. Maybe he stole his other bow. Piggy. Oink. Okay, got him. <laughs> Headshots do instant kills, so it's very nice. But we stole a bullet time, luckily. Got him. <laughs> Just barely. Oh, you're not getting white, Piggy. Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a headshot. Instant kill. Yeah. <laughs> We're on this ingredient dash right now. It's going good. Three meats, two poultry, uh, four fish. The talus area is a no, but nightshade is a yes. Hey, they, they killed my boar for me. Wait, no, that's my piece of meat. Whoop, thank you. <laughs> they did the hunts for me. Okay, well, I guess at this fire, uh, good opportunity to cook some beginner stuff up. We don't need to be too fancy with our first one. Something basic like a piece of meat and a nice mushroom we got. And we get a meat and mushroom skewer. So skewers are pretty basic. It's just a matter of uh, either a meat or a mushroom, either together by themselves, just on a stick. <laughs> We just were to put the meat separate. It'll just be a meat skewer. A mushroom separate. It'll be a mushroom skewer. So I know we can technically cook more things right now, but uh, I just want to get a little bit more variety. Whoop. Oh. Not too good. Oh, the bees attack the goblins. Yes. <laughs> honey. Yeah. Good. Take it all. <laughs> more honey. Just in case one of you hits me, uh, we'll take your primitive food. Okay, uh, prune of food it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> At least we got this giant fork out of it, so. <laughs> More time to get cooking. A pot lid, yes. This is chef gear now. Some spicy peppers, that'll be nice. More peppers in the pots. Even a pepper by itself. Throw it in. Makes nice uh, sauteed peppers. There's a lot more peppers in the dish than what we used. However, we can do something extra fancy. We can do a pepper and a steak. Spicy pepper steak. That's a nice way to elevate our game. But even fancier, I think we can do one better. Pepper, steak, and a fish. Put that together, and spicy meat and seafood fry. This is what we want, actually. Grants a lot of hearts and cold resistance, but more importantly... Hmm. Yeah, I cooked something for you. Can you tell? Spicy meat and seafood fry, there it is. Warm duble, we got it early, just for being a good chef. There's perks in cooking, outside uh, cooking. <laughs> With the paraglider, there's a lot of stuff we can get off the plateau now. And, uh, wind bombs help with this a lot. Yes, okay. There's a good fishy spot. Boop. Nice. <laughs> all of them. I think I'll take this dark one right here. Oh, no. I guess I can't take that one. Well, that's not good. Sorry, meat skewer. <laughs> Whoop. Got it. Yes. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Charge. Woo. Yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> Super efficient with the horse now. Bambi. Dead Bambi. Ooh, we got raw prime meat now, a higher grade. So there's some stuff that requires better grades. Those are eggs. Yeah, we'll need eggs for sure. Quite a bit of them. We can make uh, some nice omelets with those, crepes. We'll break open these because hopefully the well, topaz is good, but break that. Amber. And in here, nice little cave. Break that open. What do we get? Flint. Nope. No salt, but yeah, we'll have to buy a lot of things. There we go, get that. Rock salt! That's perfect! Awesome! Okay, uh, that's some good seasoning right there. Convenient fire. Convenient pot. Yeah, good. I think next in the menu, well, we got a few things, and hold this, cook it up. Some energizing honey candy, so that'll be nice and sweet. Also with the honey, we can uh, put it just with, like, a piece of meat. <laughs> some glazed meat. And something more. Uh, apple and honey. Put that together. Honeyed apple. So, <laughs> that's a fun one. These pictures are really nice. Literally the whole honeycomb. Just an apple doused in honey. I, I love that. Use the basic stuff with the eggs that we got from the tree. Just cook one up. This is a pretty simple one, but uh, a chef's basic omelet. So, yeah. And just for the hell of it, uh, we got all these fish earlier. And just like how we made the previous skewers, uh, same thing applies with the fish. Cook one up by itself, and it's a fish score. So, just some more basic stuff to do here and there before we get the fancy ingredients, which a lot of the towns will stock that, so that'll be important. <laughs> what will Horsey's name be? I'm sorry, there's only one proper name for the steed of the Master Chef in Hyrule. <laughs> yes, there was no better way. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't yell at us when we're uh, making everything not quite the right way. So let's just make everything quite the right way. Uh, <laughs> A lot of stuff on the road to here. Topaz, really good stuff. Just not really good cooking stuff. Chickens. Give me egg. No, give me egg. Don't want to hit them more than three times, because then it'll all come after me. Cooking pot. I'll come there in a second. Oh, wait. Pot lid. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the chef shields. Aha. There we go. Butter right there. Yeah, butter's good for, like, cakes, pies, risottos, stews, uh, pilafs. There's a lot of different things for butter. But yeah, anything that's shop exclusive, we pretty much want to buy out like that. Give me egg. No? Sharp weaponry. There we go. <laughs> Did that actually make a difference? I don't know. But, uh, no. <laughs> there we go. Chickens. Oh, there we go. Another. As long as we're not doing, uh, more than three, we'll be okay. Oh, here we are, uh, checking out our local farmer's market for some good pumpkins. Oh, he gave me a free one. Okay. <laughs> a sample to get us hooked. Go up to a pumpkin. There we go. Just pluck them right out of the ground. 20 rupees. We'll do that. Got a keen eye to pick that one. I guess first, we got to cook with this pumpkin. Um, with a piece of meat here. We can put that together. We'll get ourselves a nice uh, meat stuff pumpkin. So there we go. It's, uh, <laughs> it looks kind of fun, actually. And then also, since we have a lot of loose stuff, uh, we can make some steam food. So a steam food is literally just a base ingredient with some type of plant, usually. So raw meat, high rule herb. That's not what I meant to do. And that's steam meat. Okay. There's a few of those. We can do that with an apple and uh, an herb. For some steam fruit, we could do it with just some type of mushroom. We use a stamina one and an herb. And steam mushrooms. And yeah, I can add the prefix of whatever type of ingredient. So this will be a stamina one. And last but not least, there's one for the fishies too. So fishy, herb. We'll get steam fish. That's really nice. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for all the steam foods. We finished the whole category, actually. Those are pretty simple. But of course, I can't leave here without getting a unique type of fish. Just right here. The Sanke Carps. These are only found in Kakariko. And yeah, they're just chilling. I think it's cool that Kakariko has their own unique fish. Here we are. Oh, bird egg. That's good. But here's actually a really good place for farming. The fairies, which uh, fairies will actually be used for something special. And not just accidentally using them when I die and perish. <laughs> And then every fairy fountain also has uh, carrots, Dora ones, and of course, uh, Silent Princesses. Now we should warp back to here and make a beeline for Hateno. This horse is very speedy though, I am a big fan. It'll also not fail this run before the Blood Moon. <laughs> I mean, around there's gonna be some more ingredients. Look at that. Beehive. Another beehive. This area has a lot of bees. They're just right there. <laughs> Three beehives in this area. A variety of mushrooms will be helpful. We can actually do something with a good variety of these. So earlier we made the mushroom skewer, which is just uh, one mushroom, but 
if we cook together four different types, so we can do like a Hylian Shroom, Stamella, Silent Shroom, and the Rush Shroom, and we get a Copious Mushroom Skewer. So the Copious variants are just four or more of different types of the same. And also while we're doing Skewers, uh, if we just did a Mushroom and a piece of seafood, boom, Fish and Mushroom Skewer with Energizing Effect. Of course, with the honey, we can also make ourselves uh, more glazed things. We got glazed seafood. There it is. That looks nice. It's just very glossy. Uh, and then we'll do it with the mushrooms and vegetables, too. There we go. <laughs> a carrot and put it with the honey. And glazed veggies. That's nice. Uh, a carrots or pumpkin should work for that. So very good. Well, here we are. First uh, full page of food right there. So <laughs> looks kind of good, too. So I like it. Yeah, our big meat farming spots will be in Hebra once we go there, and uh, Death Mountain for poultry. <laughs> He's sliding. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, do not slam me. Good. Here we are in Hateno. Oh, the guard's pretty suspicious. I'm just here to cook some more foods. And look at that. <laughs> right in the display. Milk. That's a specialty. Uh, I will take your entire stock. We'll just have to keep coming back uh, when shops restock after uh, midnight. This rice is good, too. I know it. It's gonna cost 60 rupees for five of them. That's just a quick way to do it, but if we just go with some of these grass fields over here. That's not right. Oh, that is rice. Okay, yeah. So just uh, a lot of the grass over here. If you chop it down, it creates rice, which is helpful. Oh, more rice. Okay, good. It's not an extremely fast method, but still pretty nice. These are the harvest fields. We can get a lot more here. Must be a pretty dull harvest. Uh. <laughs> Come on, rice, okay. <laughs> we need a total of like 30 rice, I think, to cook everything. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this game that requires rice to cook. We'll just buy all that rice, yeah. Still important to get this shrine. All towns that have good uh, ingredients for restock, we'll have to be able to warp back to. It's almost midnight, so the shop is actually about to restock, but it won't happen if we're currently in the town or around the area. So if you want to buy more milk and even rice, we'll have to head out for a little bit. You can just go to the stable really quick. Okay, so while the shop's about to restock, uh, cook up some more food. A lot of the desserts won't be available until we go to Rito Village because we need to uh, get wheat there and wheat's only found in the Tabantha area. Well, I guess it starts with some other types of desserts though. So, uh, just loose ones. If we put a butter and an apple together. Uh, <laughs> unconventional, but hear me out. Hot buttered apple. Boom. There it is. <laughs> just butter on an apple straight up. But yeah, with this rice, uh, I guess the biggest types of thing we can make is our uh, risotto because we can combine rice with the butter that we got and also salt we only have one for now so we can make a nice veggie one with uh an endura carrot boom enduring look at that that's that's a pretty fancy one i'm i'm very happy with that cooking those nice five star meals now and then also uh we can do a nice uh pilaf which is uh rice egg butter the rice is kind of like simmered in like a broth uh but this game has it so you mix it with different types of poultry so we only have one it's the robber drumstick yeah, poultry pilaf. Uh, so there's two other grades with the better cuts of poultry with the legs and the whole bird. We'll be able to make that once we have those cuts. And then more miscellaneous stuff, because that's always fun. <laughs> there's our milk that we got. Just hold one of that. Who needs nice, ice-cold, refreshing milk? We can have what's better. Warm milk, yes. <laughs> Just heated milk and comes with a mug. Oh, basic. Mushroom fruit. Throw that together. <laughs> fruit and mushroom mix. <laughs> Nothing fancy there. We will take one of these acorns and just literally throw that by itself. Let's saute nuts. So, oh yeah, and just an apple by itself. That, that's a simmered fruit, so those are pretty basic. We can make the copious variety later. And of course, just an herb by itself too. Fried wild greens, okay. <laughs> we saved the really easy ones for, I guess, now. What else can we do? Oh yeah, um, a fairy. That'll come to our aid eventually, but uh, for now, <laughs> let's help it out. No, I'm sorry, fairy. It's like, no, don't cook me, don't cook me. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. Fairy tonic. There we go. Somehow it became pretty much worse. Uh, <laughs> well, we have a good 30 done now. That's pretty timely. Uh, almost a third. And yeah, it's going to be a lot more, but I'm sure once we are able to buy in bulk, uh, it'll help out a lot. But uh, just like that, it is now midnight, so we can go back to two villages and they'll restock with their milk and butter and whatnot. So, all right, general store. Not restocked. I'm missing something. Let's go into the general store. There's our milk. Awesome. <laughs> it's all restocked past midnight. Boom. Three more there. And I'll just buy out the rice. Screw it. Yeah, we screw up the Kakariko one because uh, the stable is too close to the village itself. So because we we're too close, it wouldn't restock. 
So we'll have to wait till the next day, um, sadly, but that's okay. We still need to go back to Kakariko though, because uh, pretty close by it and uh, the shoreline area, there's going to be a lot of good seafood, which will be our next step. Just higher grades of seafood, our porgies, crabs, snails, stuff like that. So like that. Perfect. That's where we want to be. <laughs> yeah, it's alongside here, like the Montlanero area. <gasps> oh, look at that. That's a rare one. Hardy blue shell snail. These are really good. Only for a couple recipes, but uh, you need those very specific ones. What's that? Oh, more. What? I just passed it. Yeah. Okay. Launch us forth. <laughs> Guess we just found the perfect hotspot for this ingredient. Nice. A dory fish. I will take you. That's a porgy. It's so great. <laughs> Nemo and dories. Good. <laughs> just up ahead too. What do we got? A crab. Yes, we need crabs too. There we go. We already got the three types that we came here for. And that was just really close to Kakariko. Now just a couple more would be also good. Crabs. This is a crab island in here. They thought the wind would shield them from predators like birds. No. All the crabs for me. Speaking of birds though, I think that should be our next big destination because uh, the Tabantha area in Rito Village that has uh, their main stable crop, which is wheat. Um, <laughs> And even we'll find the sugar there, too, so that'll be helpful. Uh, camp. Wait a second. This is an important camp. There's a silver boko. Soup ladle. That's why it's worth it. Ultimate cooking gear. Look at that. Uh, soup ladle. Yes. <laughs> the supreme cooking gear. Bird, bird. Oh, double bird. It's worth a pickup. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, please salt. I don't say this very often, but uh, no. <laughs> Not good stuff. No. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be good though, uh, still. Okay, more please. Or salmon, no. <laughs> Not good stuff, I want salt. A diamond? Okay, we got salt though. <laughs> we got a diamond from that, a normal one. <laughs> okay, good, yeah. There we are, down the hill again, uh, Rito Village. This would be good for many reasons. Yeah, there's these bushes around with uh, wild berries, a different type of fruit. Get the spicy peppers, more of those are good. Oh, there it is, crap. <laughs> Wheat! Awesome! <laughs> Tree branch, no! <laughs> okay, this is far too slow with this weapon. We're gonna have to come back, because uh, we were only able to get two. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> need curry rice? I need curry rice too. We'll go to the Goron area after this. Get some uh, spicy Goron spice. <laughs> First here, uh, this pond is super, super good. I know they're in here somewhere. Come on, Salmon, show yourself! Yes! <laughs> Party salmon. There's one and there is two. That's all we need. There it is, the general store. Slippery Falcon. Yes, look at this shop. Woo! Wheat. We'll just buy this. We have uh, three bundles. That's okay. <laughs> we need a bet. Sugar now. Okay, this is for all of our dessert stuff. Cakes, pies, uh, and crepes. And of course, more butter will be <laughs> very nice. But with that, we can finally cook more stuff. But first, uh, I will actually really quick buy... Um, Sell seven ambers, opal, of course, luminous stones. Yeah, pretty much all the stuff we can sell. <laughs> the diamond we got, yes, 500. There we go, nearly 2,000 rupees just from all of our gems. Uh, <laughs> okay, the pants. I can use some new pants. Cooking pants. We're on hot things a lot, so we're just like extra warm anyways. But okay, we got a lot of ingredients since we last went to a pot, so uh, I think it's going to be fun to finally cook up everything. Let's do it. Yeah, we can celebrate with a uh, cookie montage. <laughs> Wheat, sugar, we need butter. I'm not feeling for this first one. I mean, acorn, throw that in there. And we get a nice, a nut cake. That's, that's really fun. <laughs> not the cake you're probably expecting. Uh, well, let's cook that one. Apple and a wild berry? We get ourselves a fruit cake. Yes, there we go. That's the nice one I was looking for. <laughs> Look, there's blueberries and orange on there. Just stuff that doesn't even exist, you know? <laughs> There's always extra stuff, like, we did not have the banana, but I'll take the banana, I appreciate that. So, wheat, sugar, butter, uh, a carrot, just one extra ingredient on top. Hasty carrot cake, that's fun, I, I love carrot cake, uh, very underrated. Wait, we cooked all the main cakes in the game, all three main cakes, done. That's awesome. Now the sugar's all gone, so we can't cook more sweets, but right, I guess all the seafood we got, um, let's start with the salmon. We have the one salmon, rice, butter, and salt. Hardy salmon risotto, so we can actually do more risottos now. Only one more salt though, so maybe we can't do too many more risottos. Uh, if we take our wheat and butter, we can 
Combine it with some type of seafood, like a salmon right there, and hearty salmon mounier. Uh, I'm not good at French, sorry, but <laughs> there we go. That's the only other thing that requires salmon, actually. And there's two more of each, uh, <laughs> which is perfect. Just combine it with a porgy, porgy, and mighty porgy mounier. Uh, that's that's nice. And those are the two fancier ones. Yeah, if you just want to make a base one, uh, just those same base ingredients, and then just another type of fish, just like a cheaper one. It doesn't really matter. That is just a, a seafood munia, so that's really nice. It's more of a French preparation of like a seafood and usually has some sort of like flour with it, but in this case wheat. So from what I know about it, uh, it's still interesting to see foods that I've never had or even heard of really before in this game. So I like that. All right, I guess we can make up some rice balls. Uh, rice balls are literally just a rice base and then some other ingredients. Just added space. Just those two. Boom, bam, and uh, seafood rice balls. Nice. <laughs> Pretty simple. We didn't do those earlier. And there's four different types of rice balls. There's the seafood we just did. There's meaty rice balls. Nice, they're wrapped. <laughs> there you go, sneaky. Yeah, we got to sneak those veggies in somehow. Uh, that's nice. And then we can just do one with a nightshade too. Put that together. You know, we really snuck those veggies in. Uh, actually, mushrooms aren't really vegetable. That makes more sense. Uh, 41 done. We can really do a lot here. Well, we got more than I really thought. We just kept picking up stuff, so. And yeah, with that, we don't have any more wheat. So we'll come back. So yeah, there's a lot of good meats in the, the giant snowfield of Hebra, so we can get the really good prime and gourmet stuff, which we will need. Arctic Fox, there we go. Now that's good, because look at that. Oh, Fox gives you a prime meat. <laughs> oh, headshots are important, though. Keep going, keep going. You know, it's dangerous. I don't want them spitting at me. <gasps> Mooses. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Ragurami, yes. Two of them! Or maybe that was one. That was two, yes! <laughs> yeah, oh, wow! Okay, that was a quick one. Oh wait, no! Too far! Ah! That was only Prime anyways. Crap. Prime's still good, but I need Gourmet. Will you be Gourmet for me? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm counting on it. Yes, two! <laughs> we still killed him. That's a- Oh no! Sorry, we have to leave that behind. Ah, ah, ah. That was super dangerous. Why is the horse running from me? No! 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 Where are you? No! They were just rapid firing that. Rapid firing the fire, literally. Jeez. Got him. <gasps> okay, good. Yes, temporary horse. Go you. Now we can hunt. <laughs> yeah, we were being hunted there. Hunted's now the hunter. Doves. <gasps> yes! Robert Thai! Awesome! Second tier of poultry. That's so good. There's a Lizzle right there. And we'll just burn to a crest because uh, these will actually be important when we get, uh, well, the monster extract from Kilton. We need to make some mon first. <laughs> Headshot the bear. Insta kill. <laughs> guys, so much health usually. Big truffle next to big bear. Give me the meats. Ooh, nice. <laughs> bird. Super good for what we need. Nice. <gasps> a whole bird! Fair, you can get whole birds from these guys, but you can. <laughs> wow, I thought we had to kill the ostriches for those. Well, that's nice. Uh, it was gonna do more, but I think we're actually pretty good on meat. So uh, 23 of that. We only need a few of the really good stuff to make just some dishes. I think with that, we'll head to the next major region for some nice spices, salt. Okay, right now the only thing that sucks is we never had a close war point to Death Mountain. So <laughs> there it is in the distance. We have to go there. Goron City is the only uh, reputable place that sells Goron Spice. And we'll have to revisit that on a lot of restocks too, because we need a lot of it. But then once we're done there, we can just head east and uh, check out Kilton's shop. So whatever that was. Okay, save ourselves before we die there. Drop a bomb, blow it up in their face. Okay. Give me literally 0.2 seconds to do the right thing here. Just like that. Get out of here, please. Yes. Oh yes, that worked. <laughs> We're long gone, good. We can make it to the mountain now. Now it's gonna get spicy real soon. There's the lava and there's the city. Oh no, um, wait, get right here. I wonder if we save right here and then reload the save, the burn timer should reset, right? And we should be able to make it really fast. All right, there it is. Burn timer reset. Yes. 
No, it's perfect. Oh, no. We're at uh, half a heart. Okay. We'll eat the, the omelet. <laughs> Some nice good eggs. <laughs> we'll get more. Look at that. Already Goron City. We're so close. Wait. Don't burn up yet. Uh, bye, Potlid. I kind of forgot about you. Crap. <laughs> we lost our Potlid. Come on. Take it. Aha. Okay. This is so efficient, though. All right. Luckily, that cutscene should also reset the burn timer. So get in quick. Uh, 600 rupees. Perfect. Not that expensive either. And... Boom, just like that. We have our gateway in. That's awesome. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy about that. And spare pot lid. That saved a killer amount of time. Oh, wait. Don't just put it back on. What am I doing? <gasps> I just really like the pot lid that much. I keep forgetting. Here we are at the Goron General Store. Your seasoning shop. And there it is. Goron Spice. I like that. We're going to need quite a bit. Boom. <laughs> Three Goron Spice. Might as well get some more sugar, too. Make some more desserts. You know, screw it at this point, uh, we'll just buy the salt out. <laughs> it's only 12, we have the rupees. Yeah, it's very worth it that way. Ah, uh, there's the cooking pot right by the store, too. Uh, before we cook anything, it's very important that we let everything in the world restock again. It's in the morning, so, uh, if we go to nighttime right now, it should take us to, like, 9 p.m. At midnight, this place will restock, and we'll have to keep going back and doing this, uh, at midnight to keeping the spices. Because we're pretty late in the Blood Moon timer, so we have to get... It's about like 17-ish spice. Because first, let's actually cook with that. Um, yeah, let's take one of these spices out and mix it with a rice. Nice rice and spice. A curry rice. That's how we make our curries. Yeah, and there's a lot of different types of curries we can make. We can mix this with um, some nice seafood, actually, like a, a porgy. So this type of curry will be as expected. A seafood curry. The high-end seafood for that. Last but not least, we'll get our curry base and uh, a vegetable. So like a pumpkin will work with us. Tough vegetable curry. Awesome. That looks really appetizing too. Wow. <laughs> Great plating. And we'll have to come back after midnight, cook with more spices. We do have the salt now. Uh, we can actually mix the salt with uh, milk. And that's the base for a l most of the game's soups. Let's see if we just put like a, a mushroom in there and some sort of flour. Hyrule herb. Yeah. Um, Nice and creamy, uh, enduring cream of mushroom soup. Yes, there it is. That looks tasty. I, I love cream of mushroom. And we can do a milk and a salt and uh, hmm, just a vegetable, enduring carrot. Enduring veggie cream soup, yeah. <laughs> and for something a bit more complex, uh, same soup base, milk and salt. Salt is a base for most soups, not all of them though. A meat and then some sort of plant. Creamy meat soup, okay. So a lot of uh, just nice soups. And then, of course, same just for just seafood. Uh, boom. <laughs> Sneaky, creamy seafood soup. That's that's really nice. Okay. <laughs> I like how the pot color changed, too. It's blue. <laughs> nice. Yeah, look at that, though. That's second page. <laughs> Different types of soups. Wow. Such a cool array. Like, seeing all the food in this game and all the unique types is just a lot of fun. It's so aesthetically pleasing. I just wish I could just eat everything on screen. We have a little time to kill until uh, this shop restocks, but... These two should restock by now, so let's uh, check that out. And the Rito Village one, so. Buy order butter. Luckily, all our shops are open like 24 hours. <laughs> That's super handy for us. Get our wheat. Buy the easy stuff, three. Buy more sugar. I'll just take that time to cook a couple more things, actually. Now with butter, we can actually finish uh, another type. We can finish our risottos, so. Rice, butter, salt, uh, a crab. Mighty crab risotto, okay. <laughs> Only other type we haven't done is a uh, mushroom. Let's put a nice chill shroom, just for the funs. And chili mushroom risotto, there it is. That looks a lot of fun. I'm happy we finished our risottos now, awesome. That was our 50th meal out of 117. Still a lot we can cook, but we gathered a lot of ingredients. We get some egg, milk, wheat, and sugar. Just put a lot together. <laughs> is the crepe, that's the base for a crepe, huh? <laughs> And luckily, that same uh, egg, milk, wheat, and sugar can be combined with other stuff. Um, the wild berries? Yeah. A wild berry crepe. That looks so fancy. <laughs> the honey, we're out of that now, but if we cook that together, final type of crepe, which is uh, a honey crepe. That looks really good, too. Wow. I like crepes a lot. This game only has sweet crepes, but I like the savory ones, too. The farming hoe can't even farm. <laughs> that's, that's upsetting. The only other ingredients that we need besides the spice going to the desert for two unique pieces of fruit, and then also the jungle for a banana. And each of those we can do in those three minute windows. Uh, well, between we wait till night at 9 p.m. and wait for it to hit 12 to restock. Quickly, buy our Goron Spice. <laughs> three ever stocked. Running low on rupees, but that's okay. 
because we have more gems to sell for sure. And salt too, yes. Not actually too much, but enough for just loose materials. There we go. Let's go to here. We will wait till nighttime because we just restocked. When we do this, and it's only three in-game minutes away from uh, restocking the stores again. Butter, butter, butter. Can't risk it being soon though. But I think, yeah, there's a couple more loose things that we need around the world besides just buying them from shops. Uh, one of them is going to the desert, getting ourselves uh, a watermelon and a volt fruit. One of them is going to Kilton, getting the monster extract. Another one's going to the jungle and getting banana. So in between each restock cycle, every three minutes, we should be able to hit up one or at least get as much progress towards one. It's concerning with the blood moon that could be on the horizon, but we'll hopefully get it. Okay, there's the jungle right up there. And a guardian, that's not fun. That was really nice for a wind bomb. Literally just instantly, as soon as we get to a fire, nighttime. Protein palace, no. Sorry, not that, spice palace. Wait for the next restock, but in the meantime, uh, cook with the spice as we go. Mix uh, spice and uh, some of these nice crabs together. Tough crab stir fry, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, maybe another rice and an egg. Something else that's kind of fun. Fried egg and rice, yeah, straight up. That's, ooh, that egg looks very appetizing. Oh yeah, and earlier we made the copious uh, mushroom skewer, but I think we have enough stuff to make other types of copious things. Four different herbs or flowers, put all that together. Copious wild fry greens, nice, four different types. The copious simmered fruit we'll have to wait on. Ooh, you know what, in the spirit of the Gorons, uh, I think we can cook up one of these ambers, actually. <laughs> Rock hard food, there we go. <laughs> nice and crunchy, hope these guys like it. And of course, that wouldn't be complete without uh, cooking up like a talon. Dubious food, yeah. <laughs> that's that's one of them, so might, might as well. <laughs> Ooh, and you know what? After those ones, we need something really fancy. Um, cook together a porgy, snail, rice, butter, and uh, salt. This one's really unique. Uh, seafood pele. It's just a whole party of seafood, kind of. So nice. Look at that. We're uh, halfway done, pretty much. Uh, 59 out of 117. Well, I guess with these spices, uh, we can make the two types of sautés, and that is uh, a spice and just some sort of vegetable <laughs> or a flower, like a nightshade. Sneaky herb sauté. Oh, herb sauté. Uh, take up a nice mushroom, like an iron shroom, one of our spices. Tough, fragrant mushroom sauté. So there we go. There's only two types of sautés. They're just spice based. Oh yeah, and also we earlier we picked up some uh, spicy peppers. Totally forgot, which is just that and a piece of seafood. Spicy pepper seafood. Uh, I know we started with the pepper stuff, but now we're kind of finishing it. Okay, and speaking of stuff we did earlier, we also made that meat and seafood fry. It was just a piece of meat and seafood, but now that we have the higher grades, we can put that with seafood. And we get prime meat and seafood fry. And of course, we can put in a, a super good piece, like a raw gourmet, any any seafood, doesn't matter the tier. Gourmet meat and seafood fry. <laughs> it even has the fish head now. And maybe last but not least, something just kind of fun and random. Uh, we can just stick a crab on with a snail. Yeah, just like that. Seafood score. It's pretty basic, just crab and snail. It's actually crab or snail, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> another restocking run. Wheat, all wheat. It's hard to fully keep track, but we buy it all and we have the rupees, uh, can't go wrong. You know, with this wheat, uh, if we mix wheat, milk, and uh, butter, that's actually the base for all stews in the game. We can start to make those. First one being uh, with a carrot. Tasty carrots too, that's nice. Just like a thicker soup. And then same milk, wheat, and butter. But we can do this with uh, a pumpkin this time. <laughs> Tough pumpkin stew, there we go. <laughs> the two different types of vegetables and stew. And the three different cuts of meat. So one for basic meat, meat stew, the prime meat stew. And the last one, uh, we're out of milk actually. So I'll have to go back to Hateno for that. <laughs> Into the inn again, buy the milk, okay. No more issue from that. Uh, of course the fire is not lit. So uh, bombs will have to do the trick. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Soup ladle. Cool, awesome. All right, but as I was saying uh, from earlier, the best meat, raw gourmet. We'll make the final one, the gourmet meat stew. Well, there it is. We did everything for stews actually. Stew started, stew's gone. <laughs> 70 meals now, <laughs> very good. <laughs> oh yeah, and then earlier we were talking about the copious stuff. We can actually make a copious meat score. A drumstick. Normal meat, just needs four different types, so prime and then uh, gourmet. Let's just do that. One of them has to be poultry or vice versa. Copious meat skewers, there we go. Also, same applies for the fish. 
Copious seafood skewers. There you go. That's pretty much everything's copious besides the fruits, which we'll do soon. Oh yeah, and actually one more type of skewer uh, for the different types of meats. We can just put one on a stick with some spice. Oh, can't, we have too many meals. We'll have to eat up, actually. Sorry, seafood skewer. Uh, just eat it anyways, just overstuffing myself. We can make a nice uh, spice meat skewer. skewer. Uh, so just seasoning it really nice. Prime spice meat skewer. Gourmet. That's really good. You can see the spice on it. Nice. The tier of me increases the quantity because I guess bigger. So that makes sense. It is almost midnight and the shops are about to reset again. But I guess with all this food, instead of eating it, we could actually sell it. You know what? <laughs> There's some pretty hungry customers. I just know it. Hey, do you want some uh, meat skewers actually? <laughs> Take these. Only 30 for that, but that's expected. <laughs> I'm willing to part with that. What am I not willing to part with though? A lot of this stuff. Sorry, copious meat skewers. No, we just made that too, but we don't need all these skewers. That should be good then. So not everything's just overstuffing us. We shouldn't have waited on the Goron stuff. We should have went there earlier. Cause that's really what we're racing against. Just Okay, I'm gonna take a little break from cooking just to hunt for the last things now. I really need to make it here and make it to Kilton shop. Cause uh, then we can exchange our monster parts for Mon and get the monster extract. Cause there is the monster foods and we didn't do those yet. Yes. Oh, very good. Oh, not in the lava. Okay, good. Very good. Exceptional wind bomb. Wow. Okay. Uh, this stuff forever. There we go. <laughs> I had confidence in myself that time. At least we have some stamina food, don't we? Uh, enduring veggie cream soup. Yes. <laughs> okay. Kilton shop. I adore monsters. So Kilton, we now activated him. So now he's going to appear in the towns. Yep, there he is. Just saw him. <laughs> Look, we killed those lizzles earlier. Not worth too many parts, I don't think. The icy tails are 16 apiece. Good. Okay, let's hope that they're only 20 apiece. Because I, I don't remember, actually. Nine apiece. Oh, even better. Wow. That's uh, perfect. We just need all five. He'll stock up more and more, depending on how many Divine Beasts we have done. But five is all we need. There's only five monster foods. We don't really have time to truck to the desert. We'll do that in the next cycle. Take the wheat. Just faster and cheaper to buy. Maybe not cheaper, but faster. That's more important. Take the spice. 48. Good. We no blood moon. We literally need to go to the desert for two things. A watermelon and a bolt fruit. That. And boom. Nice. Okay. And boom. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> we died wind bombing. <laughs> I did not pay attention to my health, actually. <laughs> Power. Okay. This can't be used to mess me up. Like that. There we go. Midair. Wow. The midair saved me this time. That's really great. Usually I fail those. It's 1205. Perfect. Okay. So it just turned midnight. So we're just gonna save this war point right here really quick. Let's wait till nighttime. Spice shop. There it is. <laughs> That's great. Um, I think we're almost there. The spices. Now let's continue on the desert path. Watermelon and volt fruit. These should be easy grabs. Stairs leading into it, and uh, stairs lead straight to the melons. Two of them, that's perfect. All we need. <laughs> nice. Got the wind bomb straight to the oasis. There it is. Volt fruit. Right on the cactus. Good. Eat some, uh, look at that hearty salmon risotto, though. Get some temporary hearts. Yeah, with this much food cooked, uh, we should not have a problem with health. Even though we have died, but whatever. Besides the point. Okay, there we go. Uh, there was a banana here in the shop? You mean I didn't have to go all the way to the jungle that one time? Oh, come on. I did not know that. Man, oh well. We have a cooking pot. That's what we need. Uh, so one of these final rounds of cooking here. That watermelon that we got, of course. The volt fruit. Those look cool. And we can take just a radish and also some milk. Put that together. And this is a really interesting one. Creamy heart soup. Yeah. Um, it's actually really cute looking. I like it a lot. It's just the hearts in there, so. And then, yeah, now that we got more fruit, we mix like an apple, a berry. We can do one of those bananas and uh, any one of those desert ones now. We have copious simmered fruits. There it is. Nothing wrong with the fruit salad. Look at that, so much variety. I just love looking at it all. <laughs> yeah, looking at this, we definitely need more and more honey. But in terms of desserts, we can actually do something with the banana. Mix it with some uh, wheat and sugar. Mighty fried bananas, yes. The Yiga's favorite dish. What else can we do? Some nice miscellaneous desserts. Uh, we took an egg, mixed it with some milk, cane sugar. Nice egg pudding. Stands on itself. And on the subject of that, another egg. Um, put that with wheat, sugar, and this time butter. 
You get an egg tart. That's really fun. You'll know the simple dessert is done baking when it smells just delightful. It looks delightful too. Oh, you know what? <laughs> One thing we didn't even really do, pies. Uh, pies are awesome. How come we didn't do that? Um, there's five different types of pies and pies have uh, a wheat and butter base, add a sugar and an apple. I'm sure you guys know what this makes. Nothing too mind blowing, but it uh, looks very tasty. Apple pie, a match made in heaven. They are, they are. We'll have to buy more wheat for sure. Uh, let's actually do that soon. And uh, by soon, I mean now, let's get some wheat. <laughs> and it's about to turn midnight, but before it is, uh, we'll just cook some stuff here. I know what we can do. We still have eggs and with eggs, we can make uh, omelets actually. We combine an egg, mushroom, and then butter and salt. This will make us a nice uh, mushroom omelet. There we go. Just a veggie. <laughs> Again, sneaking those veggies in. Sneaky vegetable omelet, yes. <laughs> and this last one's uh, really kind of fancy. It's egg, crab, salt, and some rice in there. Something totally different off the charts, but tough crab omelet with rice. But you know, something unique and I like it. Yeah, earlier we were also doing the pilafs, which have the poultry, the rice, egg, and butter, which we only did the first grade of them because we can use higher cuts of poultry. Prime poultry pilaf, the big chicken, there we go. That should make the best gourmet poultry peel off. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that looks good. Another nice dish from Chef Link. Another one that's kind of similar would be the curry version, which is spice, rice, and butter. Curry peel off. Nice. Sneaky mushroom rice balls. Sorry. Sell all that. Okay. More room for more food. <laughs> there you go. Beal's got a huge quantity. He can open up his own restaurant. <laughs> That'll last like a day, but why not? Well, I think we need some honey. So honey and a giant piece of chicken. Yeah, it's rather close. It's one moon bomb away. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> Honey. Gather. Good. That's all we needed. Uh, we, we'll see how we're doing after we buy the wheat and we buy the spice. Yep. Normal moon. Okay. I think we'll be okay. All right, milk. <laughs> Before we look for the rest of the stuff, there's actually one more category I just want to completely do right now. Um, with all the salt we've been getting, all of our local markets, we can mix the salt with a lot of different uh, foods to create salt cool foods. Uh, so we can do this just with, we don't have normal meat, but we can substitute it with actually a poultry leg. Sometimes you can substitute it like that, sometimes you can't. Salt girl meat, there we go. Nice, nice. Yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. <laughs> just these evolving food icons, nice. Yeah, there's four more, uh, pretty straightforward. It just a matter of putting a salt with uh, like a crab. Tough salt over crab. These are self-explanatory. Salt over fish. One of those nice mushies. Very good. Put it with some sort of like flour. <laughs> the nightshades are working perfect for that. Got plenty. <laughs> Sneaky. Very nice. Okay. Just salt grilled. Easy stuff. Ooh, and you know what? Uh, <laughs> time for some really fun stuff. The monster extract. We can actually make five different things with monster extract. Uh, and they're kind of based off things we pretty much already cooked, but slightly different recipes. So it's not exactly the same formula. So if we cook one with uh, a rice and a salt, we get monster rice balls. It's like the normal, but purple. But it's different because normal rice balls don't have salt in them. The salt usually makes a rice ball uh, a rice bowl. So monster extract, and then we'll take a spice and a rice. It actually just brings us a uh, monster curry. So that one's actually very similar to just normal curry. And then we can do a cake. So that's just wheat, sugar, and butter. That's not too crazy either. Uh, an extract. Monster cake has the horns. That's one of the cooler ones. A milk, wheat, butter, and the extract creates a soup <laughs> and it's bubbling up. And then last but not least, uh, if we just mix a meat and a seafood with an extract, this one's really unique because it creates a, a stew. And usually stew is achieved by uh, using wheat and butter, but not this time. This one's very unique. But yeah, all monster food cooked. <laughs> yeah, dog. Dog's excited for that. Quite the uh, hellish variety now, so <laughs> yeah, just it looks so just appetizing when it's just all laid out on the menu. You did so much. And should leave us with a 99 out of 117. So 18 more. That's about it. <laughs> the dog's very happy. Hi. <laughs> sorry, dubious. No, wait, wait. Yeah, sorry, dubious. I think meat and seafood fries gotta go, to be honest. Sorry. You love how I apologize to every dish after I sell it, as if I'm like abandoning it. Pretty much though. Talk about collector's anxiety. <laughs> Man, it's just tasty though. It's, you know, it's culinary anxiety. I think that's all for spice. I, we might have actually overdone it, but uh, that should be good. No blood moon. Uh, it's past midnight, so I don't need a warp 
the time more any forward, so we have this full 24 minutes, uh, just about to cook whatever we need, which I think we're good. First things first, though, the ostrich. It's the only thing I know I did miss. So we got one. <gasps> bird! 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 Do not get alarmed. No, the bird got alarmed! Oh, no! I popped him! Where'd it go? Ah, to the shrine! Where? Birdie! Crap, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Come on, bird! Yes! Yes, I got him! He's dead! <gasps> bird thigh, raw whole bird, there it is! We got it, with the pitchfork! <laughs> okay, no for sure, we'll just buy a couple more pieces of wheat, so we'll do our final cooking in, uh, Riedel Village. <gasps> We're out of meat! We're out of normal meat, actually. Buy that back. Yes. Froggy. Oh, we killed the frog, no! We'll give it a proper burial. Throw froggies. Wee! What? Why is it not throwing them? Okay, that one gets away. Bye, frogs. Wait. Can you not throw frogs in this game? <laughs> I'm confused. Just like that. Throw. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? What happened, froggies? It's raining! <laughs> Why were they in slow motion? Were those bullet time frogs? What happened? <laughs> ah, four. Come charging. Ow! Wait, no, no, not like that. <gasps> Got what I wished for. That sucks. <laughs> if it's the meat and rice bowls we didn't do? Yep, it's a it's a prime meat. Okay, that's really quick and easy. Oh, the moose, no. Yeah. <laughs> I see the moose in the background. I need one more raw prime meat. And then we'll cook up everything and see what we're at. <laughs> Whoop. Just like that, in the head. Give me the gourmet stuff. Yes, gourmet, good. <laughs> now we can cook up this stuff. All right, well, let's see what we can all cook now. Uh, hopefully everything. Yeah, we're gonna start with probably the most redundant one of all these, which is uh, variations on the curry, actually. So if you mix your rice and spice like usual, you can combine this with uh, the three different types of meat grades and the three different types of poultry grades to create uh, six different dishes. Let's do the raw meat right there. That's a the poultry curry, okay. Prime meat curry. <laughs> the prime, okay. <laughs> the rice is more yellow though. Gourmet poultry curry, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, big chicken. And now, put that in. Now we'll get us a nice gourmet meat curry. There we go, six different types of uh, meat curries, all done. Okay, let's finish up with these soups, actually. Milk base for our soup, and for one, we can just combine it with the salt and just some sort of vegetable. Just <laughs> even use the nice herbs again, or vegetable herb or flour. Cream of vegetable soup. And for our last soup, it's a milk. We're gonna have one of these wheats this time with the butter, the hearty snail that we got quite a while ago. Hearty clam chowder, yes. Clam chowder is actually pretty good. That looks really fun. Nice, soups are done now. What next? Um, we were doing this earlier, but some of my favorites, which we're saving for the end here, are the pies. We did the apple pie. We'll get our wheat butter base. We do a sugar and a pumpkin. <laughs> one of my favorites, the tough pumpkin pie. Uh, <laughs> very tough though, that's the big difference. Wheat, sugar, butter, any other fruit for this one. So we could literally just use like a watermelon, why not? A chili fruit pie, so just general fruits. And there's two more pies, but these ones are a bit different because it's the same wheat and butter base, but the sugar was for the sweet pies, but uh, the salt is for the savory pies. And we can just mix that with something like a, a prime meat. We get ourselves a meat pie, a little pocket of meat. That looks tasty. And same just for the last type of pie, but this time, I'm throwing a porgy. Uh, boom. Tough fish pie, and this one literally has a, just an outline of a fish. It just molded that way. Uh, might as well. It's totally different, but unique, I guess. Yeah. 111. Okay, 111 with all of our pie. Uh, everything we need to. Six more slots and six more meals. So let's do it. So we finished all of our cakes. We finished all of our crepes. We finished... Ooh, okay. I know what we can cook. Uh, the honey that we picked up not too long ago. We can mix that with a uh, nice fruit. Banana. Let's use our last banana. We get honeyed fruits. There we go. There's no banana in the picture. That's okay. The risottos, we did all those. We did all of our soups. Well, I found the last five things. And actually, uh, we never even started the rice bowls, which is just rice and salt. We were talking about that earlier. So we can do rice, salt, and uh, some type of higher class seafood. We're just going to do, uh, we can do one of these snails. So we get hearty seafood fried rice. That's, that's really nice looking. Or our first fried rice. I think it's the only one. It is rice, it is salt, and uh, it's a three different types of meats, or we can substitute with poultry. So you don't have any more than normal basic meats. If we throw a drumstick in there. 
Uh-oh. I messed up cooking. So I guess the meat and rice, you can't use poultry. Wow, we <laughs> took us this long to mess up. So we need the meat. Uh, we can't replace that one. I thought we could. Go! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, one normal meat, please. Thank you. <laughs> Roadkill. That's the best kind. Thank you. That's all we needed. Come on. Keep going. There's more. We have to get salt in this. Come on, Ramsey. Yes! Yes, it's blessed! We got a salt! Finally! Woo! <laughs> Sapphire, no one needs that crap. I'll take it anyways. Uh, <laughs> make me rush after the fact. Uh, but there we go. Come on. Final cooking location. Uh, we gotta go here. Rito Village. Come on. Let's do this properly this time. Do some rice. Nice and tasty salt. And first variety of meat. Raw meat. <laughs> Meat and rice bowl, there it is. Ah, yes. <laughs> now, get a little fancier with it. Prime meat and rice bowl, there it is. Gourmet meat, there we go. Our one and only left. Gourmet meat and rice bowl, yes. Wow, that's a meat mountain, literally. Uh, wow. So look at that, 116 out of 117 done. Uh, we cooked all that food. Uh, filled all these pages, just looks incredible. The variety and just knowing that we gathered everything just all in one go is kind of really cool, but uh, there's one blank spot left. I think the reason why is because we had to save the ultimate best thing in the whole game for last. And it's only going to require two ingredients. One will be the salt that we got, and last, but definitely not least, Savanta wheat. Salt, wheat, put it in a pot, and we get the bread. We did it! Wheat bread, most OP item in the game, yes. Save for last with a nice slice of butter. We didn't have to put butter in it, it came with it. So just like that, 117 dishes that's available in Breath of the Wild. Wow, that was a lot of fun. We can open our own uh, five-star restaurants and be the best chef in all of Hyrule. <laughs> is Ramsey proud of us? I hope he is now. <laughs> hey, thank you all so much for watching. This was a really fun culinary adventure and a good way to celebrate 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for the support. It's been really awesome. And I'll continue to be cooking up more stuff on the channel in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!